Howdy, everyone. Welcome to another episode of People's Lima, uh, episode 364. It is J um, December 30th, 2015. That's right. We are one. Tomorrow is the last day of 2015, a.k.a. New Year's Eve. You know, and just crazy about almost a week ago was Christmas, you know. And time, you know, it has been quite the year, but this year time flew by real fast. It was like, it was like it. The end of the year came before before you know it, you know. It's been ah, been, yeah, been been quite the year, and uh, you know, I praise God for all that He's done. You know, this year He's He's had He's kept me sustained, kept me sane throughout the whole years. You know, and uh, don't be be religious on you guys, but you know, I just thank God for everything that He's done. And if I had not been for him, I wouldn't be here today talking to all of you nice people out there. I know, I know a lot of people, you know, hate on me and everything else. But you know what, though? Like I said, to the, the, the haters out there, I always tell them, you know, eat your Snickers and change your quackish. And, and that's meaning for, you know, the Snickers commercial when somebody gets mad and they say, go eat a Snickers while you're not being yourself. All right? And to change your quackish. Now, quackish is underwear in Portuguese. And, they, and, and to me, that's... To me, that says stop acting like immature children. That's why all the haters, you know, they always criticize my videos in an immature fashion so many times. It's like, uh. And it's like, in the insults they, that the haters make made on my videos a lot of times, it's like, oh my gosh, you know. And like, it's boring, you know. But I, I block them because I don't want to subject my subscribers and followers and to my close family and relatives and friends who watch my videos. And. And last thing they, I wanted to get them involved in is some, some kind of a internet war. Don't want that to happen. So that's why I, bl I block out the, I block the uh, the haters and delete their comments. I do not want that. I want this to be drama free. I want this to be full of positivity. Now, though, before you got me going, there, you make like the new day and have a unicorn on your head, something like that, or a trumpet. I say new day rocks or something like that. New day is an entertaining tag team. I'll give them that. But the fact of the matter is, is this: I always this is what the show is all about. And next year, um, our New Year's resolution is to keep the show going, keep the show rolling, having a lot of fun with it, and just uh, you know, you know, there's some some days I will, you know, keep the show rolling. I I may not post videos for weeks or days. Because it gets so busy, it gets crazy. As you know, I have an upcoming. There's a there's a wedding going on in the fall of next year. Uh, my sister Jewel will be married, um, and I'm really excited about that. And and uh, like I said, there's a lot of crazy things. Hopefully, and it could be also you know I could be looking for another job. You know, change that too. Never know. You never know what's going to happen next year. You can't predict what. What next year is going to bring, and uh, you cannot predict anything that's going to happen. So I'm really excited about the new year coming up. It'll be something, and uh, you know, many people are saying this winter could be better than the other winters of the past, well, weather-wise. I hope so. You know, I like I like to see that happen. You know, and um, I don't know what anybody's got planned and plan for New Year's Eve. You know, I usually I never attended any parties per se. You know, my family, you know, like my family used to gather around the TV, watch some uh, watch some specials. Uh, eat some snacks or something like that, or or I don't know if my father, you know, since my father's been retired, he may go all out for a party. I'm not sure. So, and uh, you know, New Year's Eve tradition back here in Massachusetts, always the Three Stooges Marathon. But I got I got quite a quandary here because the fact of the matter is, is this: tomorrow is not only New Year's Eve, but it's Thursday. Thursday means SmackDown on Sci-Fi starts at eight. I think the Three Stooges Marathon starts at eight as well on TV38. So, what's the guy to do? Oh no, Eric! You're gonna miss your traditional Three Stooges marathon. Ah, that's where the old noggin comes into play. The information spinning. Hit, hit the button. Three bullseyes come up. I got the money doubled up in the pot, son. Because the fact of the matter is this: I got and I kind of look down there. Um, I got my Three Stooges, Three Stooges on all on DVD. Eric, how are you gonna watch Three Stooges on DVD? You want to watch SmackDown? Ah. Plan B, always spitting the information. Hit three bullseyes, double the money in the pot. Guess what I got? That's right, the portable DVD player. Holler at your boy. Raise the roof. <laughs> See, I always come up with something. So that's what I got right here. That's what I got. It's just some really exciting moments. It's just, excuse me for a minute. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah. Dang it. All right, so... Uh, there we go. 
So that my portable DVD player is right there and waiting. My portable DVD is right there and waiting. And I'm going to put this down here. Oh, I, like this new, I think this new shelf gives me an excellent idea. So that's the way it is, son. That's the way it is. <laughs> yep. Got my portable DVD player. I'm ready to go. You know, tomorrow I get out at 10. And tomorrow's also payday. Another quandary I'm in. What am I going to do? Should I go home, run away, stack it, and start watching the Three Stooges? Get ahead of get ahead of the marathon, or do a little bit of shopping. You know, and that's why I'll probably do a little bit of shopping. I should get another Amazon gift card or an eBay gift card to start off buying my first item online item for 2016. Decisions, 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 decisions. Well, I still got 30 bucks left my eBay gift card, so I will get an Amazon ca card. Smart thinking, buddy. Yeah, I'm not telling you why I'm having a lot of fun here. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to end the year on a high note on the show because it's really going, really going great and all. Um, <clears throat> interesting. Uh, quan uh, I'll tell you what. I've always have interesting quandaries. <laughs> I know, man. I, I know sometimes when an interesting quandary comes up, I go, hmm, what do I should I do? What shall I do? Whatever shall I do? Whatever shall I go? You know, should I stay or should I go? I'm being too too much of a geek for you. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about uh, 2016. I, I, you know, usually when the holidays or when Christmas is over, you feel I feel like down the dumps. You know, like yeah, it sucks. You know, I have to take all the Christmas, the fun stuff down. And you know, you know, Christmas is a fun holiday. You have all the lights up, the music going, people are smiling, decorations, Santa ho ho hoing, and uh, you know. And then you got, you know, your Christmas parties and whatnot, food out and everywhere. You kind of miss it. And now it's over because the new year is coming up fast. Man, it's a bummer. But I'll tell you what, hopefully next year will be better. You know, I got one gift and three Christmas cards. That is it. Or actually two gifts because thanks to my one of my new YouTube viewers, Thomas Wells, gave me a $20 Nintendo gift card. I'm going to... Nintendo eShop gift card. I'm going to stack up on that too because you never know. It's Mario Kart 64. Hope it comes out from to the States because right now it's going to come out in Japan in January. So is Super Mario Advance 4. I cannot wait till those two games come over to the U.S. consoles, virtual console. Because once that happens, I hope they have the e meter levels, the ones that we have not had in the States. I hope they have them on here for the U.S. consoles because if they do, I'm definitely going to buy it. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully, I pray. You know what I'm saying? You know, and Super Mario 64. I want to get that one too, man. They're really radical, dude. Uh, <laughs> so we're having a lot of fun here. Yeah, tomorrow I got to work six to ten, so tomorrow's payday as well. Like I said before, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that one. And um, I'll be working uh, six to ten on New Year's Day because the mall closes at six on New Year's Day. That's right, and also it will close on New Year's Eve as well at six. So like everybody gets to have enjoyed the New Year's with their families as well. So let's see what um what else now now everyone's know you know my go home line is pretty funny you know to all the haters out there um you know eat a Snickers and change a quackish. I'm going to get a little bit of a meaning on that one. You know those Snickers commercials where people get grumpy and uh, angry, angry and they turn to celebrities, you know? You, you know, remember, remember that one, there was two guys at the party and one of them was dread, one of them is Joe Pesci complained about everything else and eat a Snickers, he eats the Snickers and becomes himself again. You're not being yourself enough. Uh, that's why, you know, sometimes when people, uh, you know, put hateful comments on my, on my video, for my videos, something like that, um, it's like, you know, I felt like, oh, they're not being themselves, you know? And then, uh, the change of quackish part, you know, the word quackish, I think it's too funny for me. Even on Portuguese, it means underwear in Portuguese. And sometimes, you know, that means, you know, you know, an immature baby, cra uh, a baby craps in his underwear sometimes or craps in his diaper. That's what, you know, it's like immaturity. That's, that, you know, it's stop being immature. That's the way of saying it. So that means be yourself and stop being immature you know, and grow up. And that's the... That's why I try to make it funny, you know, make people laugh. But, you know, like I said, I block out all the haters and, and their comments from my YouTube videos. I, I want my subscribers to enjoy them. I want my uh, family to enjoy them, my relatives and friends to enjoy them as well. I don't want to subject them subject them to to uh, all the negativity that is that is on the page and what 
on the comments page and whatnot. You know, you know, I was like, you know, get a life. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in as well to all my shows throughout the year. And uh, I appreciate you watching them. And uh, if you don't like them, you don't like them. You like them, you like them. That's you know, that's all that matters to me. And plus, like everybody's insults that I'm, every time I get insulted, it's like something I heard before. You're like, really? Tell me something I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's like. Oh gee, I haven't heard that one before. Boo hoo! You know, I'm I'm always been nonchalant about those things. You know, just you know, be cool. You know, so like I said, I want to thank my subscribers for filling in. And Captain Erroneous stops. <clears throat> <clears throat> I talk too much. Captain Erroneous, stop complaining. You never get shout outs. Here's your new. I'll give you a New Year's resolution, Captain Erroneous. Here's an idea. Stop complaining about shout, not getting shout-outs. Don't even put it on the comments page. Make that your New Year's resolution this year. If you can go one year without it, then you got it. See? See, I already gave you a shout-out. That's enough. All right? It's enough. I'm tired of giving you shout-outs. All right? So watch the videos and enjoy them. I want to give shout-outs to all my followers, uh, subscribers on YouTube, all my followers on Twitter, all my friends on Facebook. Thank you guys for making this year a great year. For me and my family and everybody else. Just have a lot of fun. We'll enjoy, keep enjoying the videos. There'll be more in 2016. The show will keep rolling. The show will keep going. And it won't stop. You know, this party don't stop unless one or two things happen. All right? I decide to quit this show altogether or the Lord himself calls me home. And you know what? Until that happens, this show is still going on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. All right? So, that's all the time we have on this show. 364 episodes complete. That's right. That's right. Remember now, the mall now opens, back opens at 10, back to regular hours if y'all want to go shopping in the next day. Not only that, to all the haters out there, eat your Snickers, eat a Snickers and change your quackish. And to all my family and relatives and friends, subscribers, followers on YouTube, friends on Facebook, keep things homey fresh. Keep it homey fresh, and I will see you. New Year's Eve show. I'll probably do a little show be before I do all the other all the other fun stuff. See you later. God bless. Ha <laughs> ha.